okay in this video we will learn about the concept of gna and mna gna refers to geometrical neutral axis and mna refers to magnetic neutral axis okay and if you are watching this video i am assuming that you are pretty much familiar about how the emf is generated in dc generator okay so now let's learn about let's learn the concept of gna and mna okay so i have drawn a field system here okay this is a north pole magnet and this is a south pole and as we know that the magnetic flux always follows north pole to south pole as we can see in this figure too the magnetic field is uh, moving towards from north pole to south pole okay so first let us learn the concept of gna what is gna so just gna is a geometrical neutral axis just draw a central line of axis in this system just draw a central line of axis this blue color line represents the central line of axis and if you bisect this central line of axis which will be this line okay so if you bisect this central line of axis you will get the gna therefore geometrical neutral axis is this axis okay so we can say that the gna is the axis of symmetry this is clear and now let us learn about the concept of mna magnetic neutral axis okay what is magnetic neutral axis to understand the mag concept of magnetic neutral axis first i will uh, recall how the emf is generated in dc generator so suppose that there is a conductor in this field system okay there is one conductor in this field system this conductor will rotate in this field system in this direction in this path in clockwise direction so this conductor is going to cut the magnetic field therefore there is a rate of change of magnetic flux and hence emf will be developed so how the emf is developed we can see so at this position so at this initial position the flux linkage is maximum therefore emf induced is maximum and suppose let us suppose that that point will be this one as this conductor moves starts to rotate this will start to cut magnetic flux so when this conductor gets to this position from this from this initial position to this position the rate of change of magnetic flux decreases that means flux linkages decreases hence emf induced decreases therefore the flux therefore the waveform follows this pattern okay so again when this conductor reaches to this position again at this position the flux linkage was decreasing but now the flux linkage starts increasing therefore the emf will induced like this and again when this conductor rotates in this direction and reaches at this position the flux the flux link is again decreases hence the waveform follows this path and again when it reaches to initial position the waveform will be like this and the cycle continues and sinusoidal waveform is sinusoidal emf is produced okay so when the conductor is at this position when the conductor are at this position the emf induced is zero okay the emf induced is zero therefore mna is that axis where the effect of magnetic field to the conductor is neutral you get my point 
MNA magnetic neutral axis is that axis where the effect of magnetic field is neutral to the conductor hence at MNA there will be no EMF induced because there is no flux linkage okay so for this condition our ZNA and MNA coincides okay at initial uh, condition our ZNA was represented by represented like this and again for this condition our ZNA and MNA coincides so ZNA is equal to MNA for this condition only okay now let us revise geometrical neutral axis is the axis that bisects angle between central line of adjacent points which we, ha we have already discussed and this is also known as axis of symmetry and magnetic neutral axis the axis at which the effect of magnetic field is neutral due to which no EMA, no EMF is developed as we have already discussed when the conductor were in these positions yes these positions they were caught by the magnetic flux so EMF was induced in them but at this position there was no flux linkage to this conductor therefore no EMF induced and this axis is known as MNA okay no EMF is induced therefore for this condition GNA and MNA coincides so I think you have got the concept of GNA and MNA what is geometrical neutral axis and what is MNA to recall just keep this thing in mind that when uh, you draw a central line for the poles okay, when you draw the central line for the poles like this if you bisect this pole that axis is called GNA and what is MNA? that axis where the effect of magnetic field is neutral okay which i would discuss earlier and for this condition gna and mna coincides suppose that the field system is like this okay. the system is like this so you <coughs> on you you on yourself try to find out the gna and mna for this position our north pole is here and south pole is here therefore the magnetic field is magnetic flux is moving towards north to, to our south pole from north pole therefore where will be the magnetic field sorry where will where will be the uh, geometrical neutral axis obviously if you draw central line and if you bisect this it will come up here okay so gna will be here will be the magnetic neutral axis if you place conductor if the conductor is rotating in this magnetic field in this manner in this manner again the conductor will not generate EMF at this position therefore MNA and GNA is all again coincide in this figure also okay the next figure now suppose that our field system is like this okay north pole is here and south pole is here in ideal condition the flux pattern should have been like this flux should be in this position but let us assume due to some conditions okay so if you are uh, familiar with this kind of figure you already know that it is due to armature reaction but we will discuss about armature reaction later so just assume that the due to some condition our magnetic field has been disoriented and it is like this so for this condition let us draw MNA and GNA okay so what is GNA simple just bisect the poles field poles first draw the central line and bisect this central line so this is GNA and keep in mind that GNA is always same okay GNA does not shift anywhere GNA is always constant now what is MNA and to understand to find out the MNA for this particular field system first 
let us assume that our conductor is at this position so this conductor will rotate in this manner manner so at this condition we can see that the flux linkage is not so maximum as we were discussing earlier as you can see when the conductor was at this particular condition flux linkage was maximum and the flux linkage is not so maximum okay so when so for this condition this and this you see this and this two particular positions at these two particular position flux linkage will be maximum <clears throat> so this uh, conductor will start to rotate in this direction and if this conductor reaches to this position we can see that some of the some of some part of this is caught by the magnetic flux therefore some emf is induced at this condition but when conductor reaches to this position no emf no flux is caught by this conductor so no emf generated and as it follows the its rotational path again at this position no emf is induced therefore magnetic neutral axis has been shifted in this condition okay because the orientation of magnetic field is disturbed that's why magnetic neutral axis has shifted so our new magnetic neutral axis will be in this direction okay earlier uh, mna and gna were coinciding so they were at this position but now only gna is at this position but due to this type of field system mna has shifted to its new position and this is how mna shifts from its original position so i hope you have got the concept of gna and mna uh, if possible we will be discussing about armature reaction in next lecture